Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn what are variables and why do we use variables inside Apex. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So to learn what variables are and how things are, why do we use variables? First, I need to show you this flow. So what exactly is happening over here is we have some kind of data, right? I have all the required, like for an example, I have students data. Okay, let's consider as a data, as a student's data, I have all the students data of, let's say I own a school and I have all the students data. Now, what I want is I want to get the student's name who has marks greater than 90. Okay, so what do I do is I pass, I write an Apex code, okay, which is going to process this records. And what I do is I pass all the data to this Apex code. Now this Apex code, he is going to work on it. It's going to process it. And then it's going to return the processed data. So what exactly Apex is doing over here is Apex is processing the record. Let's understand it with this diagram as well. So I have the data of all the students and what exactly the Apex class is processing is that it's segregating the uh, students having marks greater than 90. And once it finds those records out, it returns the mark students with marks greater than 90. So what exactly this Apex is doing is it's temporarily holding the data for some time and then segregating or processing the record and sending out the filtered record to the or updating this uh, filtered record or whatever it can be. So in simple terms, Apex is doing is processing the records. Now, while processing the records, okay, it needs to temporarily store the records inside it. Let's consider with an example. Let's say you have to move uh, things between two places. For an example, uh, you have to you are moving your uh, your you have been moved to your new house. Okay, it has a lift in between. Okay, and you want to move your whatever the your things are. You want to move it to your home. So what you do is you carry your things. Okay, you put it inside the elevator for some time. Right. For temporary basis, you store your whatever your things are inside the elevator. And once you reach at the top or whatever, wherever you stay, once you reach it, you remove that uh, whatever things are from the elevator and move it to your house. Right. So what exactly you are doing over here is this elevator is acting as an apex. It's not processing your record, but it is transferring your record from one end to another. But the same thing the apex is going to do, it's going to instead of this transferring, it's going to process the records as well. But while processing, it needs to also store the record for some time. Okay, it needs to hold those records, whatever it has to process, it needs to hold those records for some time. So for an example, all the data is coming. Okay, it needs to hold the record, hold the, all the incoming data to find out, okay, which records or which uh, students have marks greater than 90. Okay, if it has found out, now I have to store that data inside somewhere and then I have to return it, right? So basically I have to temporarily store the data. And when you want to temporarily store the records or data inside Apex, that's where you use variables inside Apex. So in simple terms, variables are nothing but used to store the data for temporarily basis. If you want to store the data for on temporarily basis, that's where you use variables inside Apex. Now there is a syntax to use a variable. The syntax is data type. I'm not going to give the space data type. Next is the variable name equals to whatever value you want to store value. Okay. This is what the syntax of creating a variables inside Apex or any other uh, language is. Okay. Now data types define what kind of value you are going to store inside the variable. Okay. What kind of value you're going to store. We will understand with a real time example. Let's understand that data type is used to define what kind of data you are going to store inside the variable. Next is variable name. It can be anything. It can be your name, my name, bag, stool, whatever you want to. You can keep it as you wish, but it is recommended that you should use it as per as the business uh, or whatever your code uh, you are you're writing the logic for so that if someone else comes, he understand what this variable is used for. Next is value. Value uh, can be anything, right? Whatever value you want to store. So let's understand. I want to store my own name, my own YouTube channel name. If I want to store it, what kind of variable will I create? First of all, let's understand my name, whatever my YouTube ch channel name is at a Salesforce in five minutes. It is 
it is uh, it is nothing but a text value right it's a text right salesforce in five minutes is a name it's not a number but it's a text now whenever it's a text okay in that case if you want to store a text use string right use string and variable name next is variable name i have to define this is a data type so i have defined the data type over here that is string so my variable is going to store a very uh, a string type of a value that is nothing but a text type of a value next is a variable name variable name can be anything i'm going to use it youtube let's name it youtube channel name right i've created a variable it can be anything you want to i have used youtube channel name so that i understand okay i've created this variable to store the youtube channel name next is value as it's a text you have to store it in double quotes single quotes sorry in single quotes so it can be salesforce in five minutes so this is how you can store a value inside a variable let's understand it with another example let's say i want to store an integer or let's say i want to store some kind of an integer like 100 200 300 400 uh, it can be anything right so for an example if i want to store a number so in that case if you want to store a number you have to first of all define the data type that is integer okay and you can say okay let's say uh, views on yt channel right so integer is nothing but a data type again over here <coughs> integer is nothing but a data type next views on channel is nothing but the variable name it can be again anything you want to next is nothing but the value that you want to store now as it's an integer i'm not going to use double quotes or sorry single quotes instead i'm just going to store it 100 on the other hand let's say i want to store marks of a particular person marks of any person can be in points because marks can be 93.75 percent or anything right so in that cases you can use decimal because it will have points inside it decimals inside it so that's why i'm going to define the data type as decimal and you can say marks of students equals to 90.10 right so i have defined three types of the variable string is used to store the text value integer is used to store the number decimal is used to store when you have points or like uh, decimals inside your number next and the final one that i'm going to explain is a boolean so whenever you want to store a value of true or false this boolean variable is very much important very much important in order to differentiate your logic so understand this well whenever you want to store a true or false value that's where you use boolean so you can create a variable uh, data type as boolean that is a data type and it can be store you can be writing store values tf right and then you can store true or uh, or you can also store it false i'm just going to give it another name so you can store true or either you can store false inside it because the data type of this variable is boolean right now you might be thinking why am i giving this uh, semicolon at the end of each of this statement so now this helps your apex uh, like compiler to determine where this uh, logic is ending where your statement is ending it is very similar to that of the full stop in english so for an example if i'm talking something like hi my name is hi i am salesforce in five minutes dot right so this dot exactly defines the end of the statement similarly semicolons defines the end of your logic or end of your statement for that particular line so this is what the variables are and you have also understood variables are used to temporarily store the data and this is how you can define the data variable that is data type variable name and the value that you want to store equals to value that you want to store again one more thing value is assigned from left to right so what i'm doing is 100 is assigned to from left to this variable views on yt channel so please keep these things in mind what i'm trying to do is values assigned from left to the right okay so 100 is assigned to this uh, from 100 is assigned to this view on yt channel not we we this is not uh, you should read it from the from left to right so 100 is assigned to youtube channel 90.10 is assigned to marks of students true is assigned to this variable and vice versa so you should be reading the logic of assignment so this is variable assignment from left to right so this is what everything about variables what 
uh, in the next few videos we are going to understand much more deeper difference between apex and java and vice versa if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel please like this video if you found this video helpful